My name is James Blackburn. I'm from Laguna Hills, California. Uh, my dad is the uh, individual who got me into playing the saxophone. He plays the tenor saxophone as well. And that's where I really started learning how to play music. I just remember in eighth grade, I was begging him, please, 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 please buy me a soprano saxophone. And so I was like, all right. He told me if I stick with music all the way through eighth grade, he will go ahead and buy me one. I came home one day and I saw this beauty sitting on my bed. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I opened it up and I was surprised to see they're matching pairs. Uh, and I've been doing it ever since sixth grade and haven't looked back. And I still have my YouTube channel that I do stuff on. And uh, I coach at South Back Valley Unified School District. And I play at my church as well. And I do a few local gigs over at the bars and stuff. Saxophone has always been a screaming instrument that you can be very slow, melodical with, or if you want to, especially in jazz groups, bam, you can really whip that out there. So I really enjoy the saxophone because it gives me that outlet. Now that I'm older, I'm seeing more of the passionate side of enjoying playing softer, more melodic tones versus the screaming, popping ones. But at the end of the day, I still feel like I can do both. And that's one of the things that I love about the saxophone. You can do so much with it. I always like to try and get feedback. And I remember when I was you know, getting bigger, um, I ended up having to make another channel. So it's not as big now. Uh, but when I was getting a bit of a foundation, I had a lot of people uh, trying to put in uh, input and asking me, or, can you do uh, this song? Can you do this song? Put in song requests. That's, that's what I was looking for. And I was like, you know what? I should start doing it. But as you know, I primarily do video game covers. And that seems to have just such a solid foundation. So I really started picking that up and doing that. I did the best I could to do um, all these covers from other people. But I am pretty particular what to what I can do. I really need something with a melody. I can't be doing something with a lot of bass. Stuff like that. Oh, and I did a, uh, I don't know if you know the game where you're in the blind forest. I did do a uh, submission in a competition there, in an art competition. And it's all kinds of art. So I submitted a, a cover of my piano rendition, orchestral rendition with MIDI's and uh, VSTs. And I won the grand prize winner competition for that. And I won an Xbox, a free copy of the game, a signed poster, and a uh, exclusive t-shirt. Oh, and a controller, so I, I can go on. I just recently purchased a solid PA system. Uh, it's the Evo, something like that, the Evolve, I think it's the Evo, I think it's what it's called. Um, saved up some money, purchased that for the intent of doing more local gigs around at the bars, trying to get more gigs like that. Uh, that's definitely what my focus is now. Uh, I'm kind of ready to move past all the local groups that I play in. I'd really like to focus on uh, becoming more of a local, well-known saxophone player who, you know, I do that once or twice a month. I just go out to gigs and I love that. There's no better joy than to go play for a crowd who's just really enjoying your music and to be able to be that person to provide that to them is so wonderful. It's excellent. And there, there's nothing like it. Uh, so I'd really like to go out and be focusing on that more and more. YouTube is fun, but you don't get that sense of immediate gratification of the applause. The subscribers and the views are really fun, but the best thing is definitely live performance. A lot of people focus on jazz. Like they want to play stuff from the real book, you know, uh, like the beat white blues stuff. And they want to play all that stuff, which I, honestly, that's not where music is going nowadays. And I, I'm not really a huge fan of where music is headed. It's heading to rap. Uh, but the cool thing is the saxophone, like we talked about before, it's so diverse. You can do so much with it. You, you hear it in hip hop songs. You hear it in rap songs. You hear it in uh, pop. Uh, so many different styles of music. One thing that sets me apart, I feel, from other individuals is that they do not focus on pop aspects, but they don't focus on the popular music genre. I feel like people want to hear, want to listen to a saxophone where they recognize the music. And I don't think that playing in a jazz group always provides that. You might be getting the older, 
crowd over at Leisure World or something, you know? I feel one of the big things with that is a lot of saxophone players, they try and imitate the greater ones. You have to find your own sound. You have to find what makes you unique. That's one of the reasons I like doing this, what I'm doing. I don't know a lot of saxophone players who do just go out and play standard pop songs, modern day songs. I hear a lot of people trying to play the old stuff when that's just not what's popular anymore. Maybe background music in like an elevator or a high class setting over in Dana Point. Um, but if you really want to find that yes factor, try and find a niche between what they want, what the crowd wants, and what you want to do. Try and find a crowd that you want to play for. And if you find that it's a really popular crowd, stick with it, don't lose it. Do what you enjoy most, find that crowd. That's what I would recommend. Hey everyone, that was James Blackburn for you. Hope you enjoyed that video. Awesome dude. Do you want to check out more of his saxophone content? Where can they find you? They can find me on Facebook, James Blackburn Music. You can find me on Instagram, James Blackburn Music. And you can find me on YouTube, James Blackburn. And remember guys, click right here to discover, promote, and review the best in entertainment that'll make you say yes.